Hi, so here we are. We're going to start with the G major arpeggio. Now, as I mentioned before, the arpeggio is the first, third, fifth note of the major scale. So the first note of the G major scale is G, then we skip A, and then B, and we skip C, and it's D. So it's G, B, D. That's the three notes that will make the arpeggio of the G major. So exactly like you were gonna finger the uh, you finger the G major uh, chord, and um, this is the G, this is the B, and the fourth string is the D, and then the third string is the G. The right hand will play as you were playing in the uh, common arpeggio, like P I M A, even on the fourth and fifth string. So the, the fingering for the right hand will be like this. Again. So we are playing in the four strings with the four fingers. So it's not thumb, 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 index. The notes are the same, of course, but the technique here is important that you play P, I, M, A, and then back. Don't repeat the G at the end. This is the pattern that I talked about in the previous video, that you will see the set of patterns at the in the middle of the song or at the end of the song. Usually it finishes uh, in the classical guitar, it finishes with the arpeggio, uh, of the main key that uh, they are playing in. So let's do it one more time. P, I, M, A, and back. Of course, this is one octave arpeggio. Uh, we are taking things uh, rather slow and easy. Maybe in the next course, I will introduce the two octaves arpeggio. It will be something like this. The three octaves arpeggio will um, cover the entire fretboard from this from here to here so let's stay with the first or the one octave arpeggio for now and then we'll see what's gonna happen so thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one where we're going to take a look at the C major arpeggio